So let's take a look at the World Economic Forum video about this from August 24th. That woman looks like she's wearing a nose bag on her face, like a horse would wear. Anyway, this common pass is described as follows. Common Pass is a platform that lets people safely and securely collect their health information, whether it is a negative COVID test result or eventually a record of a COVID vaccination, manage that information, control it themselves, and then be able to let that information be used to demonstrate that they have had a negative test or they have been vaccinated so they can get on an airplane or travel to another country. Because no longer are people allowed to determine for themselves if they're sick or not. COVID-19 has been described as being so deadly that you have to be tested to know if you have it. From now on, it seems that human beings are expected to be treated like cattle, to be tagged, traced, and vaccinated. If you test positive for the nonsense PCR test that mostly finds antibodies to either COVID or debris from previous coronaviruses, you won't be able to travel or live a normal life. As you know, I've also discussed such apps for just generally getting around the place, like the Health Passport Ireland app. Your COVID-19 status will efficiently display as green, amber or red, dependent on your test results. This allows us to go about our daily activities in a safer way. We can all use Health Passport Ireland in many ways, such as travel, hospitality, education, healthcare, construction, offices, entertainment, visits and much, much more. Naturally, the validity of your COVID-19 test will expire over time, so an automatic reminder will be sent when it's time to be tested again. Absolute technocracy. Bye-bye freedom. If you're not in this digital population control network, you won't be able to live a normal life, hold down a job or travel anywhere. Mind you, there's nothing normal about a life in a digital population control network. And why did I mention Rockefeller earlier? Because Common Pass was developed in collaboration with the Commons Project. And if you go to their website, you can see their trustees. You can see their names and organizations that they work for here. And then scroll down a little bit. And this gentleman is Rajiv Shah, MD, president of the Rockefeller Foundation. Is it just a coincidence that they would be involved in such a project, given that the Rockefeller document from 2010 called Scenarios for the Future of Technology and International Development with its lockstep scenario narrative said the following. 